some fun with the Tom James. Hello, people. Um, Tom James, Elevated Jam Tracks. Really cool guy. Hung out at my mom's house for le four days. So, 42 Gear Street is over. The 42 Gear Street auction for the animal shelter that really needs your help is still going. And many, many, many items have been bid on because you guys are awesome. One item, because it's the highest priced item, has not been bid on, which is understandable because what we have is a couple of pictures and nothing else. So let me introduce that item so one lucky of you, man, person, woman, can actually get it. Your own Tone Fox guitar. Tone Fox. Um, I have Blanche. You might know her. She's an amazing woman. She's an amazing guitar. Um, and uh, Uwe Schulz and Robert Price from Tone Fox came over and said, we're gonna donate a custom shop, one of a kind Tone Fox for the animals, which is ridiculous. It's a small shop. They technically don't have the funds to do this, but they did. So let me show you Aunt Polly. Now Aunt Polly is Italian. What they call a love caster. I have to, it's a love caster, Aunt Polly. And as she says that on the back there, handwritten because it's a custom instrument. Now let me tell you a couple of things about Aunt Polly. I love, but when, I, when they told me what, why, it's, why she's called Aunt Polly, I was like, that's cool. Because she's got this like badly painted white picket fence look. Leslie, is this way too bright in the camera? Do you want to take the main cam down a bit? Because people can't see the beauty of the Polly. It depends on how I hold it. So let me see, Uwe sent me the stats, which are also on the auction. Um, where is he, Uwe? Here we go, I'm gonna read you some stats. Now, this is a one-piece pine body, which means, well, she's not, she's not heavy. I'd say normal, I don't know whatever that means. Um, and you might think, well, she's got these rips in here, but don't worry, this is not gonna be a guitar that breaks apart. It just has a really cool, very rustic look. So if you look at this right there, it definitely doesn't, you know, it, it's got the anti-high-end look. But what I love about it is these beautiful lines from the pine are reflected here. They're reflected in the metal, metal, as you can see right here, in the uh, in this piece of metal. They're, um, they're also on this electric plate thingy. They're also back here. They're everywhere. Um, so we have a one piece pine. The neck is bird's eye maple, private reserve. Now let me tell you something about Uwe's wood. Uwe is one of the guys that a lot of German luthiers go to because he's got the hookup, he's got the connection. Um, he knows how to pick woods, he knows the right people to buy from, and then a lot of luthiers go like, Uwe, can we have a neck? And he's like, what do you, what do you give me for it, you know? Trading. So, this isn't just any old piece of bird's eye maple. It's a very old piece of bird's eye maple. This is 35 years old. Um, it's a very, I mean, in terms of, I'm gonna call this a D, what do I know? But it's a, I don't think it's a super chunky neck, but you have a little bit of wood in your hand. So look at this right there. It's not mega bird's eye, but there you can see the birds. Right there, the birds come in. Um, it's got East Indian rosewood as a fretboard. No inlays, which I love. Beautifully done side dots. I mean, they, I'm not gonna go into, oh my God, the threads are fine. This is a super hand-built, no CNC, anything, labor of love instrument. Uh, I'm gonna go with bone nut, but let's let's see. We have Goto SD91 tuners, which are open like the old style, so you can put the string in the middle, which is kind of like a locking thing. Uh, 
There's a number on it. Then we have blue, 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 blue. Uh, the pickups are Nick Silver pickups, and it's the Don Corleone set. Don't know what that means, but it's probably really cool. Um, we have the Tally Control Plate Volume Tone Three Way Switch, which is a very, everything here is very, very uniquely done. Um, look at it. This is just, it's just ready to freaking rock. Um, we have paper and oil capacitors. The knobs are Bakelite old stock. Custom switch tip. Uh, the, the finish is a hardware custom aged neck satin nitrocellulose. Body is a matte, dirty, sloppy white. The pickguard is custom orange stripe. Uh, the frets are uh, Wagner medium jumbo. It comes with elixirs. Uh, but of course, they'll set it up for you if you want. You tell them how you want it set up. Um, what we're doing is this thing comes in a case with free worldwide shipping. We're going to take care of that for the animals. This thing should be clocking in at thirty-three to thirty-five hundred. We're starting the auction at three thousand dollars, so probably at around twenty-eight hundred euro. Um, if you're in the market for a high-end tally that's as good as it gets that's the one fender custom shop nah, not f i mean yeah they make amazing instruments don't get me wrong but this is as good as it gets trust me if you don't trust me ask rj ronquillo who played it ask uh j leonard j ask any of the youtubers that were here write emails find out they were all like okay Tone folks, that's the shit, and this is the shit. So let me get you a couple of sounds here. We're gonna go into the Tone King Sky King. Let's just do a little bit of reverb because that's fine. position, that's where you're at home. Ah, I can do it. But the one lick I'm still working on. I think that's what they call twang in Manum. Karlsruhe? I don't know where they're from. That's actually... I hate bridge pickups clean. This, I can't get used to.
Okay, that, that, that works. Let's go into the AC20, which is Voxish. Position myself here. Everything is fun. Get um, we have more amps. Marshall JCM, some number. These knobs are tough to navigate, but they're not. I'm not a. I'm usually not a tone knob man, but this guitar has so much brightness and so much open end that. There's a lot more in here than just the three sounds. On the that just hums anyway on the sin 50 with all the gain look ranked up that's wrong that's not that that's the dumbbell module that's the BE module <laughs> I don't know how that goes. Okay. 
is an instrument that wants to be played. This is an instrument that wants to be on stage. This is an instrument that doesn't mind to be bumped and th thrown. Well, it probably does mind that. Um, this is an instrument that is handmade by someone who really knows how to do it. This is an instrument that has impressed 19 different YouTube channels. No one said, oh, it's not for me. This is an instrument that I wish I could buy, um, but don't have the money after 42. I don't, I don't. Um, this is an instrument that completely, with all the money that you spend on it, will go to the animal shelter. And uh, I would kind of assume that Uwe and Robert are hungrier than the animals. Um, everything on this is as handmade and boutique as it gets, from the pickups to the bridge to the thingy and the thingies and all of it is just ultra unique. If you're gonna miss out on this, you're gonna bite your ass. Um, Uwe makes world-class instruments that don't have to hide in any way behind the Mac models behind the uh, Shabbats, um, the Ander Andersons, Andertons, and, and, and uh, Andertons? Anderson, Anderton, Tom Anderson, that guy, or oh, different guitar. But you know, all the high-end shit that's out there. Um, he's got his own unique style, and every single instrument, if you watch the Gear Street videos, has its very unique touch. So Aunt Polly only exists once. In that finish, with these woods, 35-year-old neck, um, the pickguard, I don't even know where in the world you found that. Don't let this, you know, slip through your fingers. There's one available starting at 3000 I know it's a lot of money, but any other guitar on this world-class level will be thousands more. Don't trust me. Ask other people that played her. And Polly now on the auction, 42GS.1, not www, just 42GS.1. Link below, go bid now, before it's too late. And here's the animal shelter again. Here we are at the animal shelter in Wetzlar and anything that you purchase from uh, 42 Gear Street will benefit us. And here behind me is the food box we call it. It's actually for people to put animals in that they find um, in the night. But unfortunately it's also used for people to anonymously get rid of their own animals. As you can see here, unfortunately our fence is just falling apart uh, and it's going to cost a lot of money because it's a very long fence to have it replaced. So 
this is Molly. She's been here for almost two years already. And she has arthritis and has to take medication for that. Molly! 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 This is Beg. Um, Beg was a victim of animal hoarding. She was confiscated along with other cats and dogs. And Beg was very ill, was and is so very ill. And her vet treatments are really pulling us into bankruptcy. <laughs> and of course it will be difficult to find a home for her because people are very reluctant to adopt sick animals. So this is Toma. Toma is already 15 years old. Um, he ended up in the shelter because his owner passed away. So he'll probably be with us for a while because it's always hard to get people to adopt an old animal. So here we're in one of our many cat rooms. And unfortunately the glass roofs uh, are leaking. So every time it rains, it rains, the, the rain runs down the walls and the rooms get wet. So in the name of the animals, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you very much to everyone, all the brands, all the YouTubers, Everyone that donated things for us for the shelter, we really appreciate it. Thank you. The, the animals at the end? But there were animals in the whole video. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was.